What's up people this is Vishal and I'm back again with another code long session and in this session we'll be talking about deep merging two javascript objects and this is a very useful utility when in your real time projects as well where you want to uh, override the configurations of your uh, basically write the configurations once and override across your different environments so pay attention and let's go so let's uh, look at the problem now and try to understand the question first and then we'll go ahead with uh, writing the code. So uh, I have two objects over here. One is the base object and one is the override object. So we need to merge uh, the override object into the base object and the way this merge is going to work if there are same keys in the objects, the override is going to replace the entry in the base, right? And um, if there are, let's say, uh, in the test mode, if there are three entries in the base object and um, in the override, there are only two entries. So the entries which are present in the override, only those will get replaced while the entries which are there uh, by default in the base, they are going to stay as is. And uh, remaining entries which are not there in uh, both of these so uh, so let's say xyz123 is something which is there in the base but not in override that is going to stay as is and um, oh, in the override we have a dev server port 9000 this is also something which is not there in base so this is going to stay as is so the uh, final output will be the merge of these two and we will try to analyze the solution after we have done writing the code so if you want to uh, try it, try this out on your own you can pause the video right here and um, uh, come back later and uh, we'll look at the solution together and the people who want to look at the solution with me let's go so let's get into the code now and try to get the basics out first so the first thing that we need is a function called deep merge so we are going to create a function called deep merge and uh, it is going to take two parameters so this is going to have a base function uh, base object and the object which we are going to merge into the base object and this is going to return a result so let's declare a result we are not getting into the details yet but let's just write it out okay so i've copied my base object uh, on the side so that uh, we can keep referring to this while we are writing the code and uh, yeah so coming back to the code now we declared a constant called result so this result has to be initialized so this result will be initialized with uh, let's check for whether it's an array or not so there because we know that even array is an object so we will first check for array specifically so if it is an array if the base object is an array so that time we are going to return an empty array and if it is an object that time we are get, going to return an object so this is my uh, initialization for result and this is what we are and once we do some processing in the middle we are going to return this result so the way i'm going to approach this is i'm going to loop over each entries in input object and whatever the keys that are present in input object we'll first merge those and we will see what we have to do with the rest of the hanging entries which do which are not a part of the override object right so to iterate over the uh, the input object keys i'm going to use my foreign loop so we'll write for let key in input object oops okay so for let key in input object now we have the values of uh, each key so the key that i'm talking about as mode config and all these things on in my key uh, variable right so now what we are going to do is um, first put some conditions so we need some conditions like um, if base of key so if the key in input object is not present in uh, uh, base which is equal to equal to undefined so the reason why i'm uh, checking again checking it against undefined is because we have entries over here which are booleans too right so we do not want our uh, uh, code to misunderstand those booleans so i'm checking it against undefined so if the base of the key that is present in input is undefined in that case or uh, another condition would be base of um, the type of base of key is not equal to an object right 
so let me fix this part yeah so in this situation when the key is not present in base or the base of key is not equal to an object so if it is not equal to an object we are simply going to replace that value right so we are just going to write result of key is equal to uh, input object of key right so this is my first condition so and very simple to understand so base of key is not present so if the key in input object is not present in base that time we are going to just simply assign that key into the uh, resulting object and uh, another condition is if the base of key is not an object so if it is not an object that time we are simply gonna write the value whatever is there in the input key to the output right so yeah the the next condition would be to check whether the base of key is an object and input of key is not an object so in that case also we are going to simply replace the value right so if if base of key is uh, of course i need to put a type of so we'll write type of base of key is not equal to an object and the type of input object of key okay so one condition error here so i said that the base of key is equal to an object and uh, input of key is not equal to an object let me shrink this down a bit uh, yeah so if it is not equal to an object that time also we are going to simply copy this and paste it here so why this why, why we are doing this is because uh, let's say the base of key is an object but the input of key is not an object so we don't really have to perform any merge over there it's a simple rewrite right so we are just going to replace that key with input of object of key okay we can also merge these two uh, if conditions together but for our ease of understanding let's just keep them separate okay now the third condition is the condition where we need to actually perform the merge between the keys so that time we are going to check whether the type of base of key is equal to an object and the type of input object of key is also equal to an object in this case when both the entries are objects we need to perform the merge right so this is basically a sub problem of the bigger problem so we are going to use recursion over here so in that case what is going to happen is uh, result of key is going to be a uh, deep merge so we just need to do base of key so we are shrinking it down to another level and we are passing uh, input of key as our input object input object of key so by looking at this uh, uh, input that we have over here so this scenario will happen when we when the key value is config right so in config the config is an object in the override function uh, override object also the config is an object so that time they both are basically an object and they both are present in the uh, in, in, in the both the entries so that time what we are going to do is basically pass only this object as our um, as the operation on which we are going to perform the merge right so that's what we are doing over here so i think uh, we have handled all the conditions so base of key is equal to undefined it is going to handle whether the key is there or not and uh, if the type of object is not an object we are just if the type of base of key is not an object we are basically just gonna replace the value all right so i think this is this should work so let's try to uh, execute this so we will write console.log and we are going to perform deep merge and what we need to do is we need to pass our input objects right so uh, the entry's name is base and override right so we are just going to write override here all right so this uh, should solve the problem 
and uh, let's try to execute and see whether it is working or not so we head on to our browser hit a refresh and let's look at our console so on my console you can see the output has been uh, printed over here let's see uh, if everything is right or not so in the bundle so let's uh, go back to our inputs right so the base we wanted to override base mode with development so let's check that first so made mode is uh, has been overridden with uh, development let me zoom it zoom in a bit all right so the mode has been uh, changed with the uh, the entry development so now uh, we need to see the config so inside config bundle we are going to replace split chunks from true split vendor from true to false and we are going to replace the entry from an empty array to one to three so let's check that so in my bundle so entry has been replaced with one to three split chunks as false so split vendor is false this is fine now going to the test mode in the test mode well in the base we have uh, production unit true integration true and in the development uh, in the uh, override we have uh, an env as development and integration to false we are, we don't have any entry for unit right but uh, let's see what happened in the test mode so ideally the input the unit true should also be there in the merge object right because that is not something which we are overriding so there is something wrong in our code and also one more thing is missing is the base is having a entry called xyz which is not there in the uh, our output yet so it is very simple to solve this so uh, the 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 way we are going to solve this is we just have to make sure that our base is all always there as a part of our uh, result right so we know that base is going to have all the entries and uh, all the entries that are there going to be there in the base have to be as part of the result as well right the entries which are not there in the input object th those have to be part of the result and in this for loop we are all already making sure that input object is correctly merging plus the entries and in input object which are not there in the base they are also correctly getting placed right so we created dev server so dev server is part of the override it is not a, a part of the base uh, object so that part the merging of input object is correctly working but the part where we want to uh, retain the values from the base is not there yet so very simple to do what we are going to do is uh, during the initialization of our uh, result i'm going to just copy the entries that are there in the base okay if it's an array we will write like this and if it's an object we will do the similar with the object as well okay so this will make sure that all the entries that i'm working with are already present it's just that those values are going to get replaced in this for loop uh, later right so let's uh, execute our code and see if everything worked or not so hit a refresh and uh, you will see now that the xyz entry is also present plus in the test mode our unit entry is also present so in env which is getting override from production to development has has been done correctly the integration from true to false has been done correctly and the unit which was supposed to be untouched is still untouched and it is still present so that basically solves my entire deep merge okay all right so if you have any questions on this just drop a comment in the comment section and uh, uh hit a like uh on this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such code alongs in the future and uh, hit the notification bell as well while you're here so that you get updated on my videos whenever i upload them so that's all for this one thank you bye